they say, wakey, wakey, rise and shine. I just realized as we waking you guys up in the morning, eh? it's an honor to wake up with you on the morning on the DBS This Morning Show. My name is Maureen. Um, we need to know what's going on around us. So let's see what's the headlines from Kendall. Good morning. The Chief Executive Officer of the St. Lucia Hospitality and Tourism Association, Narani Aziz, is asking for the monitoring of indicators which would give a truer picture of how much tourism is benefiting the wider community. As much comfort as we take in monitoring those general numbers, the, the true story has to be told in terms of how much money are these guests spending in the economy in St. Lucia. And when I say in the economy, not just at the resorts, not just at the amenities within the resorts, but how often are they traveling? How, how, much, how many of our attractions are they availing themselves of? Uh, how much money gets into the hands of the vendors, the tourism taxi operators? Um, and, and, you know, the retailers on the island, uh, how much money actually makes its way into the pockets of the manufacturers who produce things locally and the farmers who produce to feed this industry. His comments follow complaints from vendors and others in the sector that they're not benefiting from the higher visitor arrivals that are being claimed by the government. Now, Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre was in St. Vincent and the Grenadines yesterday for a high-level meeting between President of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, Dr. Irfan Ali, and President of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, Nicolas Maduro, amidst increasing tensions between the two countries over the Essequibo region. Dr. Rav Gonzalez, the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and uh, pro tempore president of the community of Latin American and Caribbean states, as well as Roosevelt Skerritt, the chair of CARICOM, co-chaired the high-level meeting in St. Vincent. Prime Minister Pierre joined other CARICOM heads of government and leaders from the wider Latin American region for the high-level dialogue that sought to de-escalate tensions between Guyana and Venezuela and forge a pathway towards an amicable resolution of the dispute. Back home, Kashri South uh, Members of Parliament, Dr. Ernest Hilaire, has shared an update on the progress made to tackle unplanned housing in his constituency. In 2021, he announced that preliminary work was underway to address that issue. Hilaire has acknowledged that significant progress has been made in his constituency over the past few years, but there is still much more work to be done. We've done a survey of who's there to relocate them. Um, we are in very advanced discussions for the old cemetery that those lands do not belong to the Crown. So we need to move that. Banan um, area, Monlatok area, we've, we, we're very advanced. We're not yet ready to make announcements, but uh, my constituents will be very happy. And sometimes you mustn't talk a little too early because you don't want your colleagues to get jealous. He made the comments during a press briefing on Monday where he also revealed that New Year plans uh, for the 2024 period include relocating individuals currently residing in the Bannon Bay fishing area. Plans are afoot to establish a semi-professional football league in St. Lucia that is expected to provide a pathway for the development of young footballers and the ultimate enhancement of communities and lives across the island. The initiative is being spearheaded by the Government of St. Lucia through the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports in partnership with the St. Lucia Football Association, the SLFA. The St. Lucia Semi-Professional Football League will be funded for three years in the first instance, providing an opportunity for players, staff and administrators to operate in a professional manner. These are your top stories. Thanks for watching. Good morning. Oh, thank you so much, News Desk. Let's take a break and come right back. here's what's happening it's no secret we are in the festive season and we are going to be indulging a lot of the time as a matter of fact i just had an awesome time over the yeah the, before the holiday there yeah we had some time of, of our life we were liming and stuff like that so there's going to be a lot of that in the coming weeks in the coming days um but what 
do we do? We need to take responsibility when we're doing that. So we caught up with um, Sightop, we caught up with Mrs. Blanchard, and they have something that is going down tomorrow uh, the, on, on, on the park, Constitutional Park, where they're trying to educate you to take personal responsibility in the season, the upcoming season and beyond. So this is who we are here. We're here with Ms. Mrs. Blanchard, and of course, Mrs. Blanchard is a darling. Um, <laughs> I had no idea was, that's for who I was going to be popping into this morning, but certainly here on a great mission. Um, Mrs. Blanchard, what's up? Sight Up Drug Free Club. Yes. Sir. Right. Mm -hmm. We're meeting at this time around the festive season, so there's got to be something up the sleeve. Yeah, definitely so. Wonderful. Yes, what is the plan? All right, the plan is this, this festive season, we have collaborated with the Free Wind Ship, and they have sent us lots of literature. Mm. What we are doing, we're going to Constitution Park, and we are distributing the literature to the public, making them aware that, in fact, educating them or giving them the power of knowledge where they know that substance abuse, there are consequences for substance abuse oh. during the season and their life. Right. Mm. Is there, well, drug free, so this is definitely up your alley. It's a, you, you, on a year round basis, yes. you're, you're, you're on top of the ball of that. Yes. Um, around the festive season, like you said, mm -hmm. we see a lot more in terms of the indulging in, 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 in alcoholism and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, strategically, this is why you're placing this right here in the month of April. Yes. Okay, yes. so ultimately, what is, what is it you want to drive home? What, what, is it, what, what is it? How you want to get this, this, listen, this is important. You need to start taking this serious. Because we've been saying it a lot of the time. Yes, definitely. But how do we get them now to realize that this is, this is really serious and we need to start really taking the handle of this and making some better choices. What we really want to drive home is healthy lifestyle, taking care of yourself, taking ownership of yourself. Mm -hmm. And Mrs. Jabati is our president from 2002. She right. started this drug-free club. Wow. Yeah, she's unable to be here with us today, you know, but um, she started this drug-free club and we are driving them. Even if we are a voice in the wilderness, mm -hmm. we are going to do it anyway. We love St. Lucia, we love people, and we want, to, want them to know take ownership of your life right it's a festive season it's a celebration yes we understand that but you must take control right side so job must have been collecting data um, yes. um to date in terms of ensuring where we are as as a people in terms of our consumption rate and stuff like that um lately we've been hearing a lot of talk and like even the the, the health department has been talking out yes. about you know use of of, of um Alcohol. Alcohol and drugs, like yes. even, you know, certain drugs that has been passing off as little, yes, you know, mm -hmm. feel good drugs, the, yes. the, the molly pills and you're hearing so and so more of, about these things now. So access to those things seems to be a lot easier now for our young ones. Um, yes. How is Sightop receiving that and, and, and how it is that, you know, I love your question. It's definitely a challenge worldwide, mm -hmm. regionally. We are going now against legislature. I know. We are going against uh, the law. Yeah. I mean, for example, you have alcohol. People, the people socialize. They have their drink. Yes. There's nothing wrong with that. Yes. But you must know your limit. Yes. Drinking and driving, accidents, fatalities. You know, mm -hmm. our children get all absorbed into this right. context. You know that kind of way. So we are saying to people now, hello. Um, you know it. We are just reinforcing, right. and we'll be giving out literature. Right. I mean, when you sit and you read the booklets from um, the free windship, you have the stimulants, you have, have marijuana, you have, you have, you have um, crack cooking, all of that. Uh, mm. Education gives you power, right. the power to make a choice. That's why this right. year, our theme is live drug free, smart choices, smart voices. Right. And that theme came from a parent, Jada's uh. mother, you know. So be smart about it, right. you know, think. It Think comes down to a personal choice because yes, those yes, things yes. are now bombarding the atmosphere. Yes. It, the fight for, to try to not get it to them right now is, 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 is long gone because That's they right. have access to it now. Yes, yes. So I guess the drive now is to focus on personal choices and giving them the information, the literature, exactly. to show them what the stats are, yes, how they can be affected, yes, and then they can make conscious decisions. Definitely so. Right. So it's at 16th. Let's let's let's. When is that activity going to be again? This Saturday. Right. The six, 16th of December. We start, we start from 7 to 5. We'll mm -hmm. be giving all our, our kids will be giving all the literature to parents. They're also hosting a, a cake sale to help the cause, to help right. support us in what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So come and support the kids. Come yeah, on right. there. 
come and listen to the voices. They are the, these are the leaders of tomorrow. That's right. You know, they, they, this is our generation. We don't want to lose them. We know what the legislature is now, but mm -hmm. come out and Lend your, yeah, your voice. Yeah, lend your voice. Yes, Why yes, not? Yes, Wonderful. Voice. So this Saturday, we would be at Constitution Park. Make sure that you're there. It's a way to show or put your money where your mouth is, rather. How about that? Well, it's okay to indulge, you know, don't overindulge in one and not, you know, so you can balance things off by indulging in some good music. Here's Ransom Record. I met the youth for the first time and I love him. I absolutely love this guy. <laughs> well, this just might mimic waves because we, we, we're here with a man who's been making a lot of waves and I finally met the man. Ransom Records is in our company. I am excited. Yesterday, for the first time, I met this gentleman, which is it's sad, but it's good because it, it happened organically and I like yeah, it like sure. that because it wasn't anything forced. I'm always hearing Ransom Records, Ransom Records, all the music, the great stuff. I know it's awesome and beautiful work because I'm in the thing, I understand. Yeah. But I've never met the young man and I met him yesterday and I was like, this is you. <laughs> he is such a wonderful young man. Ransom, I am honored to meet you, brother. Yes, I'm honored to meet you as well. <laughs> I know you're there, but I, that's why I had to put it out to you, tell you, listen, you is the biggest star here, man, because trust me, your work is remarkable, your work is impeccable, and I understand why now, because I popped into your studio yesterday, yeah. and I see how committed you are to your, to your craft, so definitely, I understand why your work stands out so well, because you actually put a lot of effort yeah. into your music and your craft. Tell me about you, Ransom. I'm curious. You look like a little boy. <laughs> you look like a young child. You're, how old are you, Ran? Oh, I'm 29. You're 29. You're a kid. You have to call me Miss Marine. Eh? Right. So you're, <laughs> <laughs> you're a young man. You understand and he's been doing so much. How did you enter into the music? Well, um, I started music because um, cause of um, Johan uh -huh. Um He just produced a song for Drake and Nicki Minaj, That's right. which is called Needle. Nice. Um, so yeah, this studio where I am right now. Okay. So like I used to like always go there, ah. ask him for advice and stuff, oh. like about music, and he started like showing me. Did you did yeah. you have previous people in your family who were into music before? No. No, not really. No. So you just you just you just had that knack. You just had that calling. Yeah. You wanted you you just get curious about it and go and trouble the man in the studio because you you were interested. Yes. Right. So what happened then? Since then, okay, you start learning. You start yeah. So I I started learning and stuff, and I also like did a lot of research like on YouTube. Okay. And stuff. So like I got some practice from there. Right. And from there, like I started like making beats and stuff, and then putting artists on it. Mm -hmm. And everything and at just. At what time? What age did you start making beats and people started to, you know? I'd say probably 16, 17. Right. Yeah. And then from then, was it making? Was it the, the, the real stuff then? Or was it was people taking it serious then? Not really, but <laughs> yes. Like I had to, I had to push myself a lot. Mm -hmm. Like go to different radio stations, try to release oh. the music there, get interviews and all of that. Right. Yeah. And then. When did you think people really started to take you serious? Um, that's when I did um, Exodus track, Desi Pudola. That was a Denry segment right. kind of vibe. Right. So that was actually my first Denry segment rhythm. Mm. And like from there, like everything just started progressing and stuff. Right. Yeah. Since then, you've done quite a number of work. And, and, and we follow up on something yesterday. And I'm learning this is not your first. You produced for Patrice Roberts, written and yeah. produced for Patrice Roberts. Uh, God rest his soul, Ricardo Drew. Our condolences to the family and the, and the fraternity and you yourself because right now as we speak you have material that is yet to be released that you are working on with them. Yeah. Um, so you have, you have gone on to become quite a powerhouse in that industry respected as well because these people don't work with any and anybody sure. and they, they have placed that, that, that in your hands to have you not just produce their music but writing for yeah. them which means that they, they, they respect your chemistry, they understand that you understand them and they, they're willing to work with your writing. Yeah. This is huge. Tell me about that. When did you start to get onto the international artists and started to um, connect with them, and they started to you know give you give you the the, 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 the vibe? Yeah, well, um, 
first I started like working with Mr. Killer. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of a lot of his stuff like um oil it up. Right. Um advantage. So there's a lot. I also produced a song for Prince Swanny and Cranium, but that's not released yet. Okay. Um okay. Yeah, so for purchase I had a number for like two years before I even reached out to her. <laughs> right. Yeah, so when I wrote like the first song for her, that's when I reached out to her and then Which like was the first one you wrote for Um It's all there in it. It's not like released yet, but they have like a video they did for it. Yeah, a video. Yeah, I'm just like waiting. Oh God, yeah. Lord Jesus Christ. This is great stuff. Let me tell you something. You guys need to hear. I heard the music yesterday. That rhythm is top of the line. When you guys hear it, you're going to be off the chart, blown off. I can't wait for the release date. And, um, you know, I mean, let, let's let's swing back around because a lot is going on here. There's no two ways. There's no thinking about it anymore. You have found the formula and right now you're a respected person on the, on the market. You understand? Because to be working with these powerhouses, is, it, it, it speaks for itself. You understand? But yet still, you're very humble and I appreciate that. But, I mean, the passing of Drew, how does that work now? So the music is still going to be released. That, that song, is still, it's already done, it was completed? Yes, so I, I think it will be released it's a still. It's perfect time, it needs to be. Yeah. How do, you, how do you feel about it though? What is it like for you? It's so real, isn't it? Yeah, like, when I heard the news and stuff, I was like, nah. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't God. believe it and stuff, but... Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that the first time you work with him? Yeah. Right, Very so, and, that, and that was a beautiful song. I'm yeah. sure you would have been anticipating doing some more work with him. Yeah, for sure. Because wow. it, it's about like two tracks that I deal with him like yeah. now. Oh, God. I, I really, anyways, God rest his soul. We are mourning, certainly we are. Ransom, what is what is next? What is on the cards? St. Lucia Carnival is coming up around the corner. Um, but I know you cannot be pinned down into a, a, a season. I know you're making music all year round. You're not just a soca person. Yeah. I heard some beats yesterday. You're dabbling <laughs> a lot. You do dancehall. You do you do pop type music. Afro beats is big yeah. with you as well. What 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 drives it? What where 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 is it? You know, when you sit down now, is wanting to have been three years old, and and or, or, or five years old, and, and think you want it to be into this. Now that you're actually into it, what is the driving force for you? What is your ultimate goal in this industry? What do you want to leave? What impact you want to leave? Well, for me, I want to be like one of the greatest music producers in the world. I wouldn't even say in the Caribbean. <laughs> yes, you're right, and certainly, certainly yeah. so. You so, get in there. Yeah, I for sure. you get in there. For sure. Wonderful. Your, your humility speaks volume. Um, how can persons follow what's going on? Um, yeah, you could follow me on Instagram at Ransom Records. Um, Facebook, Ransom the Producer. Yeah, and you could also reach out to me like if you have like any projects you want to work on at five one eight seven one zero five. Right, you guys need to listen. Don't come to the man with no papi show. Let's all serious. <laughs> Definitely, that, any nonsense. Wait until all is serious. I appreciate you, young man, and yeah. I, it's an honor meeting you for real, for real, yeah, and no and the best of luck. And and um, hint hint. That is all we say now. <laughs> hint hint. I figured that is the man here. You know. I just saying that. Leave that there. If you know, you know. Right, Ransom, big up your whole self. I yeah, love thanks. your work ethic. I think you're a brilliant young man and you're, you're on your way to being the world's, one of the world's biggest producer. I, I endorse that, full hundred. Yeah, thank you very much for having me today. Absolutely. It's time to rise, shine, and wine with Soka Size. Leading the wine, we have Serena, Vernel, and Shani. Let's get ready to sweat with Soka Size. It's time to flaunt with a bacchanal warm up. Let's begin. I know you love this one. We're just vibing and feeling the music. Let's go. Four, three, arms crossing, and fan. Fan, again. Touch, and. Over the head. Roll 
roll the hip. Roll. Switch sides. Wind down. Four, four, three, two, up and four, three, two. Take the arm. Again. Take it over. Side, roll it. My girl, you look very nice. Switch. We're winding down. And. Take it up. Let's go. Cross the arms. Hey. Hey. Left side. Hip. Roll it. Right side. Let's wind down. And up. Let's work those arms. Woo. Find it. Touch. Hey. Left side. Roll it. Next side. And. Hip, roll it. Take it up. With the arms. Fan it. Touch. Hey. Arms. That was this morning's session. We hope you are feeling sexy, sultry, and strong. Thank you for choosing to flaunt with Soka Size on This Morning on DBS. Well, guess what? It's Friday. It is the weekend. It's quite buzzy around. So go on out. Enjoy your weekend. Be responsible. Take personal responsibility. Don't forget that. And um, let's catch each other again back here on Monday morning, God's willing, for another DBS this morning.